So, Prince William is pulling out of very important events due to personal matters. What is going on? Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And let's get into this free Palestine all day, every day with my absolute chest. We all saw that American soldier who self, you know, self-immolation i believe was called the highest degree of support burn themselves alive and the fact that you know they're trying to paint them out to be some crazy individual is insane insane the fact that we are witnessing a genocide and so many people are quiet insane everybody saw what that american soldier did and now the very own country he's from are trying to tear down what he's always stood for. What a sad world we live in. Anyways, let's get into this royal mess from what is going on. Um, you know, it's been reported, first and foremost, that the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, is doing well as she recovers from abdominal surgery, Kensington Palace has said. It's very normal for them to give us an update that she's doing well after her surgery, which she reportedly left the hospital a month ago. If she left the hospital a month ago, why are you guys giving us an update that she's doing well after her surgery? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, it just doesn't make sense. Kate is recuperating at the family home in Adelaide Cottage in Windsor. She has today missed the memorial service for the late King Constantine of Greece at Windsor Castle, which is being hosted by the British royal family. Her husband, Prince William, also pulled out reportedly at the very last minute for personal reasons. Um, and has called the Greek royal family to apologize. No further detail was given on William's absence. King Charles also missed the service today as he continues his treatment for cancer. And yet again, surprise, surprise, Queen Camilla le led the members of the royal family at the event. She is thriving, guys. This is what she has wanted. This is what she has wanted all her time to be the number one person. She doesn't care who dies, do you understand? The royal family is very much like this. They're very self-serving. She does not care for the fact that she's, um, that everybody around her is passing away. Um, well, that's what it looks like at this point. Um, King Charles not returning last minute, I find to be very interesting. Um, William, um, you know, not returning last minute and pulls out, I also find to be very interesting. What personal matters are these? What is happening to the family? After the Spanish press, after Concha came out with this, you know, um, interview that she did a fiesta, giving us in depth in regards to the fact that Kate's not doing well as much as the palace wanted and etc. Not only did this People magazine fake story article, in my opinion, come out, but also Kensington Palace break their silence and say that she's doing well. It just is too, it's not coincidental for the fact that Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace, give us updates themselves that Kate is doing well always 24 hours after the Spanish press or Concha say something that obviously gain some kind of traction. Why do they always say something after she's broken a silence is because they're trying to create damage control, silence her and ignore the pleas of what is going on. Because the average person will be like, well, the palace spoke out, said she's doing well, then I guess she's doing well. But the fact that she's nearly been missing for the first three months, we have not seen her for three months at this point nearly, is bizarre, unheard of, and very much unusual. For this woman to have a photo op after giving birth, which is an insane amount of pain for any woman to go through, yet after your abdominal surgery, you're not to be seen, is to me bizarre. This woman did a photo op at a picnic in, the, in some random park with her husband and children and is not seen here. She's done numerous photo ops in, very, in scenarios that are just very much unnecessary. William pulling out last matter, what is going on behind the scenes? We would like to know what is happening with these personal matters. Is the personal matter corroborated with Kate or is it your King Charles? I don't know where else it could be corroborated with for you to drop out last minute of such a significant important event of your career that you've had to apologize to the Greek royal family. That is something that the king to be is not going to do unless it's extremely serious because he knows that Charles's days are numbered and he's about to be the new king and he would want to set a nice reputation for the families around him so he wouldn't want to pull out. And also if he's pulling out, he would pull out with, you know, a lot of notice. For the fact that he pulled out last minute shows that people around him needed him more so than him attending that event. Something must have happened, gone wrong with Kate. He must have got the call. He had to pull out last minute for something that would happen. And you know, I just feel like 
Charles, we have to really keep an eye on him. I wouldn't, would be expecting any day now, guys, an update that the King Charles passed away peacefully in his bedroom or something like that. I feel like something like this is going to take place in the next couple of months. I can just see it happening and it's going to cause absolute chaos when it, come, when it comes to the royal family. Kensington Palace coming out with their statements conveniently after the Spanish press. You are not fooling me. To me, personally, it just seems coincidental and i use the word personally heavily because that is my personal opinion on this conversation maybe you guys agree maybe you guys disagree but what we can't agree on is that in the past couple of months something has shifted in this family and it just seems weird i don't know what it is it's the energy something on this family has shifted and to me it just seems quite bizarre make of this what you will do subscribe to the channel click that button guys it is daily and consistent content comment down below give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate it subscribe 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 once again camilla is running the roost exactly what she wanted she is living right now but the fact that this is what she's always wanted she's wanted the limelight guys she's wanted to be the one the fact that she's the one at a very prestigious royal event leading the members she wouldn't be able to do this if William was around, or if Kate was around, or if Charles was around. It should be right at the back. But they've all been cleared conveniently. So, you know, she's here at the front. This is nothing but a saga of Game of Thrones, guys. This is exactly what this is. And she is in that position where she's just drinking from her glass, looking at the royal house falling down. But what she doesn't understand is that if she's helping, or if she's seeing people digging these graves for these royal members, her grave is also going to be dug as well because when King Charles passes away, she's being shifted to the back and there's a new queen in line, which is, you know, Kate Middleton, if she's alive, alongside William. So I, I don't understand. I don't think she realizes that, you know, whilst you're running the roost and you feel with great power, it's not going to last for long. Perhaps that, why she's enjoying it for so long. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Another royal nugget for you guys two in one and i'll catch you guys soon for another video